Karibu sana. Welcome back. This is still why in the morning. My name is Brian Sako and I'm so excited. This is our first interview of the day, our first guest as well. But before we get too far, let's make an interaction on our socials and that includes Facebook, Instagram and on Twitter at Y254 underscore channel on the ground. With a blue check mark, with a blue verification, right? Yeah. That's how you can find us on the hashtag Thursday Vibe. Still us Y in the morning at Brian Sako 101. That's mine's on all social media, including TikTok. We have a TikTok account. If you want to know who's the best dancer at Y254 channel, you should be on our TikTok, which is, which is Y254 channel, yes? Go and follow us. We have amazing TikToks right there. Also today, you just never know <laughs> who will be dancing as well. But love in studio with us with our first guest. She's an amazing, beautiful, gorgeous lady. She's going to tell us about her journey in music. When did she start? What are some of the highs and lows? And how does it feel being an artist, especially in today's music? music industry. Are there things that have changed? Is there anything that she's also tried to do that's maybe adding value to the industry as well? We'll learn just a bit. We're going to talk to Shania. Sh I almost said Shania Twain or Shania Twain, but no, this is Shania Beto. I'm confusing the American R&B Shania Twain, but good morning, Shania. Good morning to you too. How are you feeling? I'm good, and you? I'm fantastic. Thank you for asking. Hey, you know, <laughs> things are moving too fast in this city. <laughs> but welcome. Uh, Thank so you. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Like, how did you get to the music? Or did it begin from a place of passion? Mm -hmm. Or did you, did you like go to school to learn music? Like, what attracted you towards the musical part of art? At first, I started writing music back in 2013, while still in primary school. Though, at, at that time, as Ivo, like, presentable kitu naweza ukaimbia mtu like ah uh, bambike nayo yeah. so writing music i perfected my skills throughout at to the up to the point i, re I released my first single 2019 i recorded my first single i released it in 2020 okay yeah so uh, were you like influenced maybe to 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 do music because of what you were going through ama is because you are talented as a singer and then you also tell us uh did you start training as a vocalist as well ama us is just a natural gift and it started picking up you know mm, when i was a kid i used to sing in churches uh-huh oh you used to sing at church mm, I used like to praise sing and worship in the sunday school in mm, the mm. mm -hmm. i used uh -huh. to sing a lot so after my mom passing 2011, we moved Sorry to Nairobi. For that. Thank you. Sorry for that. Thank you. We moved to Nairobi. Where ku kujia ku Nairobi, that's when I feel like ndoni discover I can sing and write. Okay. At a time my mom passed, she kwa na relationship that close with my other siblings, elder siblings. Uh, so how many siblings are you in your family? <laughs> we are ten, but one is late. Ten. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Sorry for the late. Yeah, family. ten. Ten is a lot. We are ten. I'm the last born same in the family. Same dad, same mother. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. We are 10 children. Apo jongeza ta mama na baba. Ladies, how many ladies and how many? Six ladies. There were four boys, but one is late. Sorry for that. Thank uh -huh. you. So you are like the ninth kid or the, the, the eighth? Tenth. Or the the last tenth. one. When the last one. Wow, mm. wow, wow. Ole wa sumbufu. Yes, we will. So dad took over when mom passed mm. on. Mm -hmm. When my mama died, uh -huh. in 2011, we moved to Nairobi, so I had to live with these siblings of mine. When Yamba Sikwa close sana now, because right. me growing up, actually, Sikwa na wajua ile sana that deep. What happened, Con? Because we have a, a very huge gap between us. Like, muki, le, the only person in the same at Kokaribu, ni Munyamba and Amfata. But the Which is mwenye, your sister. Uh -huh, my sister. Uh -huh. But we have Munyana Fata, I'm sure, like eight, eight years. So kuna hapo huge gap, mi hata wengine ni mawapata, like they are married, they have kids, hata wengine wako older than me. So, moving to Nairobi, I felt lonely, mm -hmm. first of all, because I was used to my mom so much. Right. I was used to living with my mom and my sis, Amba and Amfuata. So, we moved to this Nairobi, living with these other siblings wasn't that easy, because right. I don't know them that much. Okay. Najua, like, they are my siblings, but sijaishi now, unana. Right. So, I felt lonely. And in the process of feeling lonely, right. in 2013, I started writing songs. Like, I could express what I feel in writing. Slowly, slowly, like, sometimes I used to talk to my mom <coughs> in songs. Mm -hmm. mm. After she passed mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I just could write, Mom, how are you doing? Nini, nini. Evo. And sorry, I got emotional. Pola, 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 pola. Easy, easy, easy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
So at that time, don't I discover like I can write songs. So I used to write songs. Naenda na mwimbia my elder sister mbae na mfuata. Like, unasikia jayi song. Sama na mbae hizi song, like, they are as in si fan, as in za utoto. So who was telling you that? My elder sister mbae na mfuata. Uh -huh. She's my biggest supporter, Sai. Oh, she's your biggest <laughs> critic and also your biggest supporter. Mm -hmm. nice. she, she's direct. I can be like, this is wrong, uh -huh. this is good, evil. And I yeah. love it about her. Okay. So, at that time, so, so songs are not that good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I mm can -hmm. like these songs now. But I could give up. I could give it a break from 2013. I could like early 2016. 2016, I could give it a break. A three-year gap. I was in high school back then with my best friend there. So I was in high school back then with my best friend there. There's a friend of mine, and it was only she was in Form 4 and I was in Form 2. Okay. So I wrote this song, yeah, English, and then I was in high school back then with my best friend there. What is the name of the song? It was rolling in my mind. Okay. Mm. I was right. you can write songs. Right. <laughs> and I was like, hey, what happened? I was like, I'm motivated. Right. So 20. And give me the confidence. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I used to kind of let Kwandika, then I transferred school to Makueni from Gong Road to Makueni. Okay. Moving Mary's from Nairobi now to outside to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I feel like you know, it is strengthened in terms of writing. Because I went to this school near a local school and Unapata, like most of the kids, they are campers. Okay. And you are the kids. Kids, we, we were like two. And a kamba one. Ah, no, not a kamba, a lawyer one. Uh -huh. So when I feel when I see him talking to Nairobi, no Illuminati, blah blah blah. Oh, that was the perception <laughs> mm. back then. So then at that time, but I really thought you know people from Nairobi were the coolest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> from my cool. school. <laughs> but when you do some things, you know, Jamie, I love wearing these anklets uh -huh. yeah. and the like you showed your fashionable, mm. so, you know. Trendy. So Nikiva, when I see these things, because of any MKC. <laughs> mm. <laughs> when talk, was, uh, these okay. things like you are from a witchcraft background. Wow. Mm. wow. wow. But so, then you got over it. Yeah, I got over it like within a term. Right. Mm. It took me some time, but I got over it. All right. Now, mm. uh, tell us now how your music started being polished. Like, uh, when did you now first get uh, a signing? And where did you get the, the, the money to actually start recording now uh, professionally? Because you said your sister was always criticizing you and telling you, he ni mbaya, he si mm. poor. Mm. Now, at what point did you get polished? Did you go to training? Did no. you train vocals? No. Any lessons? None. <laughs> uh -huh. I used to train myself. Like, I could see uh, an artist by, like, uh -huh. and I see the way they sing, the way like they perform. Who, like for example, like? Like Vanessa Mde. Hey, I loved Vanessa, Vanessa Mde before Ache songs. Okay. Like, she's my best. No, and she's gorgeous. Mm, well. And Nadia Mokami, okay. she's amazing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, like, Wanandika Ache songs. The rhyming. I need to know how to rhyme this song, these right. lyrics. Right. So, Ivo, Kendelea, like, from Dridon, Kanikanga, my Pole Pole. Right. My second release. Mkata and Liandika actually nikua Form 3. Most of the songs... Oh, the so you mentioned the song is Mka? Mkata. Mkata. Oh, Mkata. Mkata was my first release. Does it mean anything? The name? Mkata. Mkata, yeah. Mpweke, like... Oh, Mpweke wa mapins. In Suhili. Oh. Mm. In short, desperate. Yeah, in English. Yeah. yeah. So that song was dedicated to you? Was it an experience you had yeah. gone through? It was I mean, just, I was just trying to write music, like rhyming. Oh, mm. okay. Then I wrote that song and like it was Like Technopana, Junini, the mm. rest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Is, are there like maybe versions and styles of writing music? Because I, under, I understand, like you said, rhyme. Rhyme is also among them. Mm -hmm. There's people that do imagery. Mm -hmm. They try to paint pictures with the words, mm -hmm. like playing around with wordplay, which I, which I believe is a very key component in songwriting. Mm -hmm. Are there maybe things that you consider while writing lyrics? Mm, the rhyming, the way the uh -huh. song rhymes. Uh -huh. At the like, siju ushairi at the middle and the, at the end. Oh, the love stories are mizani, mm. mizani siju mishororo something mm. like that poetry. Like me when I first right. sana when writing my songs. Okay. How is my song sounding? Like I feel like when it's rhyming, it's uh -huh. more understandable and right. it's easy to catch up with. Right. Mm. 
Because rhyme is really sweet because yeah, you're mm -hmm. trying to, like, for example, you're ending with ha at the end. Mm -hmm. So this chorus also ends with ha at the end, mm -hmm. almost screaming. So music is really interesting. Yeah. But now, um, as well, now, your writing process, how do you get into that vibe, into that zone where you're now projecting your thoughts, mm -hmm. your mind, your emotions? How, at, 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 usually, what are, some of, what are some of the high pitch moments for you that you get, like, if you're in a week, that's when I'm at optimum to write lyrics. Me, I don't decide. I don't decide with time. Like in Moesi, I'm at this month. Uh -huh. No, I'm at time of I the day. I don't even go middle of the night. Me, I don't even go in the day. I write something. You can try. You'll try make for us something mm. like a freestyle. Mm -hmm. You do vocals as well, yeah. like the runs, refrains, and whatnot. Hey, not. I don't know much about that, but I just sing. The only yeah. thing I need is singing. Yeah, because the runs are like, you know, mm -hmm. doing ah, yeah, that I formula practice on pattern that for too. the voice. Yeah. I do practice on that because it helps with the vocals when recording in the studio. Yeah. yeah. And that's why I said runs and riff mm -hmm. yeah. So you, you, you'll try to do for us something, freestyle towards <laughs> the end. Now, talk about, uh, talk about your latest song, the mm -hmm. one yeah, that has been played a lot, especially when you're doing media tours. Uh, what is it called and what is the story behind it? My latest release in Naitwa, Dumi. Dumi is a love song, by in 2021, and I recorded it in 2021, but released it this year. Uh -huh. So Dumi is just a love song. It was inspired by the love, the love I felt at some point. You just felt. Mm. It, it's not <laughs> something that, like you are loved, literally. No, I You're just, just feeling I a vibe. I felt like, like, a vibe, eh, you know, feeling a vibe, like, maybe there's something. As in, something kuna. Kuna. Like you were in a relationship and it worked, no. you were feeling loved. Imagine when, I, when writing that song, uh -huh. I had broken up with my ex. Uh -huh. So it wasn't. It wasn't even about that. Mm. Uh -huh. But time you break up with my ex, there was this guy, and by like I got, took over a relationship, but he was so close and I look like an unquana mimi at a lot of times. So okay. I feel like he inspired that song because oh. I wrote it actually at the Kim Jua. So in other words, it's a dedication half, <laughs> half halfway, dedication, halfway. half to you, mm. which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, so, so far, how can people get you, your music, as you continue? Uh, Shanabito, YouTube, Shanabito, Shane underscore Bito, Instagram, Shanabito, Facebook, okay. everywhere else, Boom Play, Spotify, TikTok, Shanabito. Okay. Yeah. Now, since you mentioned social media, the mm -hmm. digital space has really disrupted mm -hmm. the music scene. Uh, right now, you can be big on TikTok, you can be big on iTunes, Spotify, Deezer, and sure. the rest, including Tidal, mm -hmm. owned by Jay-Z. Have you, have you made use of such digital platforms? Yeah. yeah. The moment I learned about them, I started distributing my songs and also using TikTok because TikTok nowadays is like one of the best platforms to... to, to get your music heard in <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you have a manager, management team that does that, or you're now still a one-man show for um, the I'm moment? Still, I'm still me. You're still you. Mm -hmm. But I, I think it can be really hard, especially when you become a big, big, a big brand. I can imagine like a person, for example, like Bahati, Diana, Diana B, you mentioned Vanessa, mm -hmm. like working like a standard loan, it can be really hard. It's not easy, true. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So how do you do that? How do you strike a balance between, I want to upload on iTunes and still go back to YouTube and still keep feedback on Facebook and on Insta and still go do TikTok as an artist? Do yeah, you have like assistance, help? Yeah, with my... Like those people that are close to me, my uh -huh. friends, okay. and my producer, producer K on the beat. Like, Pia, I'm inside Asana when it comes to easy V2. No, 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 is all that. Yeah. Right. Mm. Interesting. Also, you'll talk, you'll, you'll tell us about your experience in being in the Kenyan music industry and mm -hmm. also some of the big artists that you look up to, especially the ones that are overseas. Mm -hmm. But now, uh, talk to us about how to shoot a video, mm -hmm. a video <laughs> song or a music video, in other words, because um, I think it was once or twice I, was, I passed somewhere that somebody was saying, hey, Sako, could you too quit water? Come on, you I was like, hey, bro, come on. But anyway, story for another day. Mm -hmm. how, how do you conceptualize a video 
you know, from concept to a script, now writing the script, now bringing the live action into a music, uh, a combination of now edited, edited out uh, films that are running mm -hmm. or cartoons and cutters. How do you do that? First of all, me when, when I'm recording a song, uh -huh. I don't a studio to record, I have an idea of what I want. Okay. So when I'm going to shoot this video, I have an idea of what exactly I want in that video. So is it like written down? No, I not an idea and you tell the director maybe they'll just uh -huh. like a script chain and okay. you then you shoot the video. All right. Mm -hmm. So how do you now get into action? Because I've, I've, I've seen the, the, one, the, the, the one that I, uh, that I was, they wanted me to attend. Mm -hmm. I saw they did so many texts. They did the same text with different clothes, then mm -hmm. they went to another outfit, and then they switched to another set, they changed the set, they switched the dance moves. So all that action just for one scene that will mm -hmm. run like two seconds, that's a lot of work. Uh, how's yours? For example, in the song Do Me, how mm -hmm. did you do the choreography? Do Me? Uh -huh. Do Me... <laughs> But it is the same thing as you said. Lazima kukwena a lot of shots so that they can have a choice. When is an opportunity to go, which one is the best? Right. So you cannot just shoot at once and it's it's nini, it's perfect. Right. No, you just repeat through the scenes. Maybe if they want, like do me, if they want the second verse cannot be the the script of the first verse cannot be the same as the second. Yeah. So Lazima you your song, what is it talking about, first of all? Right. Let's understand what it's talking about, then to do a, the location that is perfect for it. I love to share your location, like when you're going to shoot, lazima watoyo kitu enye nana, iko kwa song. Right. Lazima, if this, the love, the, let the love be felt right. in the, within the video. Nani love? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, video, Kadibina, sijui nani. Anyways, story for another day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but now tell, tell us about the industry, the Kenya music industry. There's a lot of things that are happening there. We've seen Kenya BN complain, oh, CG, MCSK, oh, Lipi Pesos and Yonafo, Lipo. Mm -hmm. When it comes to making money in the, in the Kenyan, especially Kenyan industry, mm -hmm. are you making money yourself? Uh, not yet. Maybe one of Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Why but not I'm yet? in the process. I believe it will be soon. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, what could be possibly wrong? Because, you know, uh, everybody who starts something, mm -hmm. at least even your parent is like, you want to do music, so you're going to make money, right? Okay, let me give you startup money, go record your first or second video, but then from there, at least start making money out of the videos you've made. What do you think is the problem in the, in the Kenyan music industry? And could you be maybe among the people that will bring solutions? Cause, mm, yeah. Uh -huh. I may be the one. <laughs> what are, yeah, amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are some of the issues that you think need to be addressed so that you know artists can be recognized, they can be paid well, they can be booked for gigs, even you as well? When it MCSK, Mongolia member MCSK, I can't talk much, much about it because C U is Oh, you've not even registered. Yeah. Okay. So I don't I don't know much about it, but Boom Play, Spotify, it just needs a good marketing. To nini, do one pesa, and you mm -hmm. cannot just end with one song or two songs. I okay. feel like there is more to it. You have to record a good video, a good audio. If any marketing visory like these interviews, you go to interviews. Do I believe it is cheaper to like? I can't talk much because I don't know much about the earning part. I've not yet started earning, but I believe soon. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Uh, talk about a competition <laughs> for some of the people that you compete with. Uh, competition. Yes, uh, every, uh, every business has a competition, mm -hmm. <laughs> and competition is what keeps you in check. Even as an artist, there's people you look at and they're like, wow. Even me too, as a media personality, I have people that I look up to and I'm like, one day I want to be there as well, but I have to like, go through the process. So who are some of the people that you know, keep you in check? You're like, I need to do something like them to mm -hmm. be there. I'm yeah. looking up to them, not competing with them, right? You, you can compete them in your head. See, I must compete <laughs> now in real life. Like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to Dr. Joa, you're competing with them. <laughs> I admire, I admire Nadia Mokami a lot because uh -huh. of her journey. I know she's uh -huh. a big artist and one day, baby, I, I pray to Tafanya Kitu. Tafanya Kalabu, mm -hmm. Nadia is one of the people about and inspire us when it comes to Kenyan music industry. Okay. Like, ukiangalia her journey, mini me mfuatilia sana, like, the, after before, when you Before first heard of her. Mm. All right. So, like, she's one of the most amazing artists that, that I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
and some Mwesezi kompiti na ye. She's super okay. amazing. Ni kama useme, Nadia Mukami ya kompiti na Sanai Pei Tande, like, yeah. Sanai Pei ni legend. Sanai is mm. no. So, maybe we look up to, to them, but not competing with them. We want, we want to be like them, but we are not competing with them. Yeah. But mm. anyone at your level? Because you know there's level. levels as well. Akina Adasa. <laughs> uh -huh. Adasa is good. Mm. Uh -huh. Akina Adasa, she's also an amazing, amazing artist. And maybe one of them at Naiza tuka compete. <laughs> right. Mm. Who else? Adasa, Fari, like Fari Atman. Siji, wanawake pake ama mix. Water. Si lazima kwa tumane. Yani, uh -huh. I feel like. Why yani? Yani. Uh -huh. Sini an amazing artist yeti ni mzuri. As in, yeah. kuimba kwake, her, his writing, and na feel like tukingia kwa stage tunaeza. Okay. Na nielewa, like yeah. I can compete. Okay. Mm, so you can fit mm -hmm. on his feature. Mm -hmm. right. uh, Latino. Who Latino. Who, who is that? Is it Latino? The, the new artist wa Nadia. All right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Who else? We have Akina Clivani Mzela, but he does mm. gospel, so we cannot compete. All right. Mm, we have Akina Kim John, he does dance all, dance all music. Okay. Akina, kuna wengi, kuna sana wengi sana na jua. All right. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what about airplay? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, as an artist, <laughs> thank God uh, I'm not one. But it's good to be an artist because music is the universal language. And if you want to get to the hearts of people when in church, even the Bible says, I don't know, was it? Uh, David used to play a harp, right? Mm -hmm. I know that song, you know, I heard that was a, a song that David played and it pleased the Lord anyways. Uh, music is a universal language. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, being an artist, uh, you want to be marketable. You know, when somebody meets you, they'll be like, you know, I like the brand, I like the personality, I <laughs> like what you stand for. But then later on you tell us what you'd like people to know you for in the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, have you received enough airplay, especially when it comes to radio and TV? Because I think, again, that goes back to uh, distribution. Mm -hmm. uh, do you feel like artists in Kenya are getting enough airplay? And radio, TV, no. even podcasts as well? Even no, DJs maybe. at the club? No. Not that much. Like, siju kwa nini wana complain sana na mziki yetu, yeah, they don't know the journey. Uh -huh. But I feel like they are valuing the outsiders more. No, and outsiders you know, like Kenya. Like the Nigerians. <laughs> like, yes, no, no, uh, like Nigerians the Nigerians, lot, like yeah. the Tanzanians. Right. But I feel like, guy, I mean, I feel like atu, atu chase with his story. Uh -huh. mm, like, I'm an, I'm an, I mean, upcoming artist, you can't say I'm a DJ, so you chase like this song, this song. This is my song. I'm going to sell and take a mix, and they won't. Mm. You feel me? Now we make we make effort to make them more like sometimes we even beg. <laughs> yeah. Mm, you make that effort like any yeah. hit song. When the hit song the Nigeria is in a hit song or Kenya and the Tanzania. I don't know why. Right. And I feel like we have good music. Ni letu yani. Yeah. Atu fatili we stana. Like legs, the lamito EP. Like it's an amazing EP. Yeah, like Zell mm. Don, who was, was signed to Otila Brown. Mm. Mm. Like it's an amazing EP. Mona Anania Meto album, Meto Ben Sol. Yeah. It's an amazing But they're album. getting airplay, the mm. people you've mentioned. Uh, Lexil, not uh, yet that uh, much. You feel like he's not getting enough airplay? Mm. Lexil, okay. I feel like he's a big artist. He's not getting getting much, but Ben, ben Sol, yeah. Ben Sol, I know. And apart from and, and, and Romano, do you feel like, you know, when you attach yourself to a big brand, like uh, the Bensol you mentioned, Bensol Kitambo, in fact, he used to sing along. I remember at some point he featured on Hat the Band mm -hmm. on a certain song that was still amazing. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like, as an artist in Kenya, you have to attach yourself to people that are already established to maybe hold your hand? Or you need a shout out even from a big uh, radio producer or TV producer or even a music producer for you to, you know, get that traction in the space? As compared to, like, just being a one-man a one-man show, like you are? Maybe, like, like the necessary? producers. Maybe the big producers and the TV producers and radio producers. But when it comes to recording, like a recording producer, hmm. I feel like, come on, the song will, it a hit, it a gongo nanela. Like, kuna song unasikia gamali unasikia, who producer ni mkali. Hata yeah. kama ni mkali ni mkali. Yeah. Anelewa. But yeah. ikikuja kwa like TV producers and radio really? producers. Yeah. And I feel like lazima uji attach tunawa. Lazima u communicate na wawo mjuane. Yeah. 
No, maybe we're in the Twitter interviews. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please. Yeah. yeah. Good. We had mentioned about Dumi. This mm -hmm. is the Dumi video. Yeah. All right. Uh, in total, how many videos? Two so far, but Mkata, I didn't shoot a video. Oh, but I know. What happened? Mm. Financial mm -hmm. situation? Financial issues. But no worry. Talk, talk to us about this. Yeah. I feel like it's an amazing video. Uh, you look different in the video as well. <laughs> so what is the concept behind this video and what's going on? Mm, concept, everything. I feel like... Is that, that story? Because I, I see this, uh, this gentleman on a bicycle mm -hmm. and then there you go. And then you're hugging him. So what is this story? Is it a love story? Mm -hmm. It's a love story. Like I'm singing to this guy the way I'm in Maliza. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, you, wh what are you telling him? I put what you like, he's a vixen, so. Oh, he's a vixen. <laughs> okay. okay. Apple, you're seeing you're Lazima to to get something like we are communicating with this love of yours. Una mamba when you wanna feel. Ah, mm. right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, where was this video done? Mombasa, in Mutwapa. In Mutwapa. Oh, mm. Okay. Uh, how much did the, the producer charge you <laughs> and video director? But who, who's also the video director for this? Video yeah, director, K. Bram, K. Bram from Rima Pictures. Uh -huh. He's an amazing director. And uh -huh. you will find this song. Uh -huh. So, actually, this video it was sponsored by Rima Pictures. Okay. Sponsored. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. location, the vixen, and yeah. The kwenda kurudi yo the cash transport ya kwenda kurudi and everything. Okay. Because mm, I'm based in Nairobi. Oh, so you had to travel to Costa. Mm. So who are some of the people that were supportive <laughs> in this? Mrima Pictures, first of all. Uh -huh. The director Mrima, director okay. K. Bram, my sister Phyllis. Your sister. <laughs> okay. Shout out to, mm -hmm. to her. Uh -huh. My friend there, B my BFF Eunice, okay. and mm, my producer K on the beat. Okay. Mm. Who did the audio mastering? K. K on K, the beat. K on the yeah. oh, okay. Right. So uh, as, as, as we close it up on this, uh, uh, I've not watched the other song though, but mm -hmm. you'll still talk about it and the story behind it. Um, how much did this cost now to put out all these edits? When it comes to location, nini nini? Yeah. Mm. Oh, this is your other song? Hey, it's like I've got 10. Uh -huh. 10K. Okay. When it comes to location, Vixen, Kwenda Kurudi, yeah. mm -hmm, evil. but shooting, uh -huh. it was sponsored by Burima. So. Okay. This is also another song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, it really looks good though. It looks good. So, oh, what's going on This was my here? first video. You also look different as well in the video. Because of the makeup, maybe. Uh -huh. So, uh, what is the concept? What is the storyline? The inspiration? Uh -huh. the, the song is called? Pole Pole. Uh -huh. So, who is it dedicated to? Pole Pole. Or is it a self-dedication? Was it an event that happened to you? Mm, Pole Pole actually is so close to my heart. Siji uh Kwanini. Because -huh. this song, when I moved to Makweni, yeah, from, from the Nairobi. The song wasn't actually, the verses are ziko but chorus ili kwanga ivo. Okay. So, ili kwanga diss track at first. <laughs> mm, it was a diss track. Mm, for the Kamba guys, like... When you look on your sana at school, don't call a pole pole too, pole 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 too. We were same as a man, I mean, it's a song. So, okay. like I was telling them, we and the letter to Kongia, me are moving on. Right. Mm. Mm. But if you got time, you could record, we had to change yeah. the verses. Do you quay like it's quite distract, you quay something like a love song. Uh -huh. So, I wrote the song to kind of studio. Uh -huh. I could bambik, I could bamba producer, then uh -huh. he had to make the beat there to kind of care for the verses. Mm. Uh, when and when was this out? Uh, it was out 2021, but I recorded the song mm, 2021 too. I recorded and released it 2021, and the video was shot 2021. Okay. Yeah. Right. I can see you have your friend there you're talking. So uh, if I, I don't know if you can just that's take us through. <laughs> oh, that's your sister or not your friend. So how are these events unfolding? I see you're speaking to this other person and then there's a guy there. Then there's you. There you are. As this well. story. Uh -huh. The script was written by Ubumba. Ubumba's magic. Uh, and the script. The, so the, the, the story talks about who them. Like there's these people who have a relationship. 
alafu kuna wenye wanaongea sana Oh. So I'm trying to tell them. Well, I'm a haters. Mm, I'm trying to tell them. Yeah, and Eleni kuongea. Mm. We are moving on. We are good, and the business is doing well here too. We are solid. Yeah. We are solid. We are good. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So, and there's a gentleman right there feeding you some. That's that's the obu pineapple. Ah. Oh, mm. that is even the guy now. Mm. Oh, so he, he is part of, of everything. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> you know, yeah. sometimes people just don't know. <laughs> it's like when you're, you're on a TV show, but you're still the producer. Mm. But at the same time, you're a host. Also mm. on radio, it happens. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. So are we, are we going to see a lot of collabs maybe from you? Are there people so, on the list? Um, are there people that you're reaching out even in the DMs? You're trying to make calls? Nini, nini? Hopefully soon. Uh -huh. There's a song like I feel like a king here. Yeah. It will be super amazing. But you had mentioned stories of <laughs> established artists charging. Like mm, before, obvious. yeah. So, so you'll you'll definitely have to pay him yeah, to see, do a lazima, collab. Lazima, 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 <laughs> yeah. Where is you cannot just go to somebody and be like, kuja tufanya song. Right. But yeah. you're an artist, why not support another? You know? We are also in the business. Oh, so you're charging another like, another mm, businessman to do business with you. A big brand, a big uh -huh. brand. Where's the money to like? Could you find some? Maybe Anesa Kubali if they are willing, but P I feel like Kumu appreciate right. is good. Mm. Yeah, true. Because mm -hmm. that can be really hard. I can only imagine, you know, the struggles you have to go through as an upcoming artist. You're not being played. You don't have so many people that give you feedback and here you are, you have to pay somebody to just even feature on that track, which I feel like is a bad thing. Yeah, what I happened to people loving each other and embracing, you know, <laughs> art? I feel like as we are loving each other and releasing music and doing what we love best, we are also in the business industry. So, like I told you, says you could have approach. At least I always could have an interview in the, the Nini, 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 this organization is not paying you. Mm. Um, yeah, sure, sure, you're sure, using sure. your time. Big time, big you're time. You're coming. You know, to me, maybe do. So sure. sometimes, Pia, I feel like when I make effort, I have to take a kick. Bale. Right. Tap tap a kick to your appreciate. Right. Mm. But then there's also been an outburst or an outbreak. I, I love the Miondoko. I'm still. I'm also, but they, <laughs> I'll do a TikTok of the Miondoku uh, challenge. Mm -hmm. Now, say the way they come up with dancing styles. Nowadays, there's a lot of evolution. Things are evolving very mm -hmm. fast. Tomorrow, there'll be somebody else trending with the dancing style. The next day, there's a song, you know, that also goes with the dancing style. Now, how do you keep up with these trends? Especially on TikTok now. Kuna Miondoko, Sijukuna. Then there's Wakadinali, and then there's Brooklyn Boys. Would you love to do a collab with Brooklyn Boys? I don't know if you've ever heard of them. I've heard, you've heard of them. them? I've met they them are, They're somewhere. amazing artists. Yeah. Maybe in the future. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would really love to work with them in the oh. future. Now, how do you keep up with trends <laughs> in music? There are so many. So many. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like the dancing trends. Dancing moves, yeah. The TikTok challenges. <laughs> the, what are they called? The refixes and the remixes. Mm -hmm. you know. For you, how, how, how do you keep up? Because I know it can be pressure. That can be pressure. Yeah, a pressure lot of pressure. Yeah. When you lose, I want any pressure because me, I'm not a, that good of a dancer. Uh -huh. <laughs> you'll I, have to, you'll have to since mm, you're in the music I love space. dancing, I, I love yeah. moving, but uh -huh. dancing is its own ways. Yeah. You can move, but you're not dancing the way they want it. So. Yeah. But you believe you'll grow as mm? time goes yeah, by. Yeah, I believe yeah. so. Yeah, and I believe with practice, oh. it can be perfect. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. uh, who are some, uh, let's say, some outside foreign artists that you look up to? You love them. Yeah, it could be in R and B, could be in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say in Nigeria. Who who's the Aira best Nigeria? Aira Star. Mm -hmm. Why Aira? I knew I, I knew Aira Star <laughs> would feature in there. She's so amazing. Like her writing, uh -huh. her voice, her moves, her videos. Like nothing at all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Arasta, who else? Tiwa, 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 no, I was, like, I was, so, I was a kid. Uh -huh. Tiwa is an amazing artist. What is the first song you, you heard about Tiwa? That you Don listened Jaze, to? Like, uh -huh. Don Jaze with Coro de Bello. Uh -huh. Dorobuchi or something? Is it Dorobuchi? Doro, yes, Dorobuchi. Yes, it's called Dorobuchi. <laughs> mm. uh -huh. That one. Okay, who else, who else now from female to male, before we get to overseas now? Mm -hmm. uh, male, Nigerian artist, since you said you love Nigeria. Patua. Not Tanzanian even? 
Hey, Tanzania kwanza mimi nimegrow nikisikiza bongo. Aha. Mm, I love some of so the best that you love. Mm, growing up nilikuwa namsikiza sana Ali Kiba. Okay. Ali Kiba guys is so amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But with time nimekuja pia kupenda Diamond. Mr. Diamond Platinums. Tuache hao wakubwa wakubwa kuna upcoming wanakuja like they are so amazing like Mabi. Mabi kuna kina is it I don't know najua nyimbo. What about J Melody? <laughs> hey, J Melody is amazing too but J Melody is so I feel so upcoming. She used to write songs. Aha. Uh-huh. Kina kuandikia kina Nandi. Oh, wow. Nandi like mm. you mentioned Nandi, Nandi is also hey. dope. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Nandi. Mhm. They amazing. Right. Uh you you'll tell us in Kenya pia wale wa kitambo uh, overseas <laughs> and then tarudi overseas kula state Jamaica I'm the rest of, I'm of Africans you can in it but uh, mimi I'm more of local but but pia nikisikia song poa I just listen to it I thought but girl really will feature somewhere she's amazing uh-huh. she's amazing but so you can in I'm more of local like the Nigerians Tanzanians Ugandans okay mm, Kenyans mhm Right. But they are also amazing artists from overseas. Right. Mhm. What Penda about Yako Kwanza? <laughs> Ati, who's that? Azo Penda Yako Kwanza. Uh, right, true. True. I thought you'd also mention Beyoncé. Thames, Thames is good. Mm-hmm. Thames is good as well. I think they go on Indonesiana Thames, Tiwa Savage, mm-hmm. Aira Star, there's Yabela this chick. Day. Yeah. Yes, Tiwa mm-hmm. Savage as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They are really doing well. Uh let's get back to Kenya. Mm-hmm. When you know a rank sana in terms of vocal. Are you Vocal. I don't know is Nadia Mukami vocally perfect? I feel like Sanai Petande is good. Hey, Sanai, you cannot Sanai is I good. told you like you cannot compare Nadia with Sanai Pei. Hey. Uh-huh. Sanai Pei is legend. Like she's amazing. Her vocals, right. her writing, she's amazing. Mhm. Jovio? Yeah. Mhm. Jovio vocals. You love yeah. you love as well to do. Mhm. Jovio her vocals it like kwanza when it comes to vocals, vocals peke mm-hmm. yake. Hey, Jovio. Yeah. In Kenya. There's, there's this chick, she's a very good friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, she, she studied in Stetona, it was Zinia Manasa. You've heard of her? I got a song in a guitar in Rumba Japani. The, the chick was doing vocals for Rumba Japani with Sauti oh. So. Oh. Yeah, she's dope. And in fact, she featured, she featured on Cardi B's song as a co-writer. That chick, Zinia. Including Karun. Maybe so I don't know to do her by Colombo? name, yeah. but maybe yeah. I know her by face. Okay. The appearance. Right. She's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, please reach out. <laughs> I'll reach out on your behalf, boss, mm-hmm. and see if you guys can meet. Hope at Akubale. But now uh, as we, as we wind up hopefully, uh, mm-hmm. what would you like uh, people in the industry to know you for? Because I understand like you said music evolves. Mm-hmm. People grow, you grow, you change, mm-hmm. you know, you mature up also your writing matures mm-hmm. as you grow up. What do you think uh, Kenyan people, especially in the Kenyan music scene, they should know you for? what you stand for what you represent your personality in music mm-hmm. yeah so shania is a singer songwriter and maybe a poet because umesema <laughs> and i do afrozook so na nizapenda sana afrozook but I, 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 i got stuck there mm-hmm. afrozook what does it mean because i've heard of afro pop mm-hmm. afro beat <laughs> uh, i'm yet to hear afro on my piano <laughs> mm-hmm. but i'm stuck there what what is afro Af- afro so it's like afro uh, bongo Oh, Afro bongo. Mm. So, so it's, it's bongo a mixture mostly. of what and what? Mm. Afro bongo is a mixture of what and what exactly? Like um, Zouk is a mixture of R&B and bongo. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. So Afro bongo, I feel like ni ka mixture ka na define music yangu because I'm Afro Swahili because it's a mixture of Kenya and bongo kidogo. Mm-hmm. Ah. So it's Afro Zouk. Second so level vibe yeah. Yeah, R&B bongo. type soul mm. but then iko na Kiswahili ndani ya lot. Kiswahili ya iko na R&B una feel like ukisikiza u feel yo una feel yo. It's like bala- it's like borrowing two genres and mm. fusing them together. And ukisikiza bongo like pia iko na Kiswahili unajua Kiswahili mostly when you listen to a song that has Swahili unafikiria anga tu ni bongo like ni kama Nadia tutasemanga anaimba bongo. Cuz because of the Swahili. Right. Mhm. All right, uh, we are finalizing. Tell people where they can find your music, uh, access you anyone who wants to support you any new friend that should be added on your list am any haters that you to say goodbye to <laughs> this is the time uh, that's your camera Shanebito, you can before you do me. but though you're doing uh, a freestyle as we exit so <laughs> do the honors and then you'll do a freestyle mm. Shanebito on youtube 
Shana underscore Bito Instagram, Shana Bito on Facebook, Shana Bito Boomplay, Spotify, all the digital platforms. You can get my music there at Shana Bito and also TikTok Shana underscore Bito. Yeah, but I'm going to challenge you to TikTok. So. Oh, you want to do it? Yeah, yes, yes you can do it as, as we sing exit. sing and vibing to the song. Yeah, please sing. <laughs> <laughs> sing. Uh, I don't know if you can still play it in the background so she thought that she can do it. Mm? But, uh, it's yeah. not really a dancing thing. It's oh, it's not dancing. Mm. But can you sing along and give us some few vocals yeah. since you're a vocalist? Yeah. Please do it. Uh, this is the <laughs> time. As you look in the camera. Okay. You can play it in the background for her. 